Space Dad just asked a question. Do you know if cross-section is picked up passively in Star Citizen? Obviously, IR and EM should be passively picked up, but cross-section should be detected only with an active radar ping. I just don't know what they have coded right now. So basically, Star Dad asked two questions. First is, can cross-section be passively picked up by a radar? Passively picked up is when you detect a ship without using the active ping. When you use an active ping is active detection. So the second question is, what does the active detection depend on? Is it IR, EM, and cross-section, all of them, or just the cross-section? So before we start, there are a few things that you need to know to make things clear. Number one is I'm using two computers, two accounts. The one in the Saber Firebird is Foxy Loxy, and the one in the Zeus is Luke Skywalker, and I'm recording on both computers. And second thing is, currently, for all your IR values showed on your ship is wrong. So we will be basing our IR value on the Shivir website on my right. Also, your ship does not show your minimum cross-section value. So on this website, it shows the cross-section, front, side, and top. All right, now we can start. So first scenario is we're going to test whether the cross-section can be picked up passively or not. So on this ship right now, I turned off my cooler, life support, shield generators, and only one pip to my engine. Basically what I did is to lower my IR and my EM signature to the lowest as possible. Now my IR is only 828, my EM is 1213. The highest cross-section value is on the side, which is 3880. So we're going to be detecting this value on the side. So I'm going to be facing the ship like this. And then I'm going to back up the Zeus and to check out the passive detection range in this position. Before we do that, let's check out the radar detection for the Zeus. The Zeus ES has a size 3 radar. For detecting cross-section is 100%. Right now, in this position, my highest cross-section value is 3880. So the Zeus's detection range for this ship should be 3.8 or 3.9 kilometers. Let's verify that. Target the ship first. Now I'm gonna back up. Let's see when I will lose the lock. Three kilometers now. 3.3. Oh! 3. 3.4 3.4 3.3 3.4 I lost the radar lock for the Firebird so does that mean the cross-section detection is not 100% maybe the position is wrong let me go get close I think I am back strafing in an angle it's a little bit wrong, so let's try to do this uh, exactly parallel angle. Let's try again, so pull away. 3 kilometers, 3.4, 3.5, yep. I lost the lock at 3.5. I think the angle does matter. It's really hard for me to position at exact parallel angle with the ship, but this is better than before. I can detect the ship all the way to 3.5. 3.5 lost the uh, radar lock. However, somehow I just cannot I just cannot reach 3.8 kilometers. So either the angle is not exactly 180 degrees or the cross section value is not 100%. Okay, now let's check the top cross section value. The top is 3331. So I'm going to face the Zeus like a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now I'm going to pull away. 3 kilometers now. 3.1, 3. Oh, 3.2 disappeared. So the top cross section value is quite consistent. 3.2. Haven't reached 3.3 yet. So the value is not absolutely accurate or is because the angle that I cannot get to 
parallel or perpendicular. But the cross-section signature can be passively detected by the ship radar. So that is why to manage the position that you face your enemy is very important. For example, so the Zeus is the enemy ship. Right now I have a lock of the Firebird at 2 kilometers. So the Firebird right now is going to rotate and use the nose. Yep. You see, when I'm in the process of rotating, see, I lose the lock. I'm not even align myself nose to the Zeus yet. I lost the lock at the 2.2 kilometers right there. So the angle is very important. If you can find a good angle to face your enemy, you can keep your cross-section detection range to the minimum. However, you cannot reduce the minimum cross-section value unless you want to cut your ship in half. I don't know if that will help or not. And if I rotate this way, now I got detected at this angle, 45 degree angle. If I bring the ship in, closing the angle, lose detection on this side as well. Yeah, it de got detected, closing the angle, lose the detection. So first question is answered. Second question is what I'm really curious to find out. What is the active ping depend upon? I'm gonna face the Zeus nose to nose in this position, nose to nose. Now I'm gonna bring all my components online. Oh, you know what? It's very simple. If I simply go to the navigation mode, my EM is gonna dominate all my signatures. Now you can see my EM is 4.2 kilometers. Okay, now I'm gonna test the active ping. So can we ping the EM out or not? If I can, how far will we lose the ping lock? Seven kilometers. Oh, I cannot ping it out at 7.4 kilometers. Getting closer. 6.6. .6. Six kilometers, still no detection. 5.9. Oh, wow. Still no detection on my ping. Five kilometers. No ping detection. Four point. Oh, got it. 4.6. I got a ping detection. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to disappear. I'll try it again. Five kilometers, I try to ping. Five, nope. Four, yeah, 4.6 kilometers, I ping. So my current EM is 4.2, but I can ping the ship out at 4.6. So I wonder if this ping detection is based on my EM or my cross section. To verify that right now, I'm gonna go back to SCM mode and then turn off most of my components. One pip to engine, shields off, cooler off, leave one cooler, that's it, okay? EM dropped to 1.2 kilometers. Now let's try the ping again. 4.8 kilometers. No detection. Oh! 3.7 kilometers. No detection. Okay, let's see when I can ping the ship out. 3 kilometers now. No detection. However, when you ping it, you can see a little silhouette right there. But if you don't actively look for it, it feels like just one of these stars or galaxy in the background. So you wouldn't be able to notice that ship. And that's already three kilometers, really close. Two kilom two kilometers, wow, you kidding me? 1.5, 1.4. Yes, one kilometers, I pinged it out, finally. This is insane. Okay, let's try again. 1.5, no ping. One, yes, one kilometer, exactly one kilometer. I pinged it out. But the weird thing is, my EM is 1.2 kilometer. So if I ping the ship out, it should be more than 1.2 kilometer. This little test shows me that uh, the active ping detection range is based on the highest signature. However, in what kind of ratio? What kind of formula? I have no idea. But there is one thing I also want to try is because in your flight radar, no, vehicle scanning. 
There is a key bind. Increase scanning angle or decrease scanning angle. I wonder if this will help or not. So I'm going to increase my scan angle. It doesn't show me. I just uh, scroll my mouse wheel. Nope. It doesn't do anything. Still detect ping it out at one kilometer. Let me try if I can scan before I can detect the ship. Yes, I can scan, but it doesn't really show me anything. So I think uh, I will really have to get really close, target the ship before I can scan. You see the scanning signal is going up. For the stealth ships, I think you have to get really close. I still can't find anything. Wow. Oh, yes. Now a yellow silhouette. Wow, I have to get right in front of the ship before I can have a good scan. Now you see all the informations, parts as well, and cargo. I don't have any cargo. 